This assembly line here in Windsor will come to a halt this weekend. It'll be the beginning of a nearly $2 billion makeover to prepare for the launch of a brand new minivan. To give you an idea of the size, in the body and white welding area, about 80% of the equipment will be new and or modified, so very significant change. The upgrades will include new robots and new processes. It's been more than a decade since this assembly shop has been updated and many of the changes being made here will make the operations more efficient and make it a lot easier on the people who build the minivan. What we refer to it as as the golden zone. So if the operator is doing work on the sill of the vehicle, the car would be elevated to the golden zone, which would be right in front of the operator to be able to do that operation. If he was working up higher on the vehicle, such as inserting the rear quarter glass, the vehicle would be in the lower position so that that, that operation is right in front of them. They've been pumping out nearly 1,500 minivans a day to prepare for 14 weeks of downtime as this plant goes from a 24-hour-a-day car-making operation to a 24-hour-a-day construction project. There'll be over 1,500 contractors on the outside. Uh, working on the process changes alongside uh, our workforce, our skilled trades workforce is also working during this period of time as well, participating in the new process installation. We're expecting to see the next generation minivan that'll be coming off this assembly line at next January's North American International Auto Show. In Windsor, I'm Auto Beat reporter Jeff Gilbert.